Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So week four of Falls Prevention Awareness Month. We are in our final week of September, I can't believe that. But today's workout, we've been building up throughout the month and today's workout is going to be our HIT workout, our high intensity interval training workout. So we're gonna start standing. We'll do a short warm up just to get the body moving, get that blood pumping, get our heart rate up, get our body temperature up. We'll start with that. Then we'll go into our actual HIIT workout where we will be doing movements for time. So we'll have the timer going and we're also going to add the resistance band into some of our movements. It might feel awkward. If it feels awkward to you, remember you don't have to use the resistance band. You can just do range of motion. And remember, you can do everything modified staying seated. Always have that modification available to you. So give you a second, go ahead and get that resistance band. Get some space if you're choosing and able to stand for our beginning part of our warm up and hit workout and have your water close by and getting your stuff together. Remember, I've seen a lot of people already wonderful chiming in, letting us know where you are watching from and getting ready to do our live workout together. And I love that. So if you have the availability, let us know where you are watching and doing the workout from. Always give me questions, comments, love to see that. So with all that being said, notice my shirt Notice my water cup that I have. While I'm giving you time to get your things, we're going to start having some merchandise for sale on our website. So I'll tell you more about it at the end of the workout. But if you'll notice my nice mug, my t-shirt, I'll show you more and talk more in depth later. But that gets the mind going, right? Give you a little, little teaser. All right, I'm gonna start music. We're gonna start our short warm up to get all parts of the body warmed up then we will start our hit where we will pick up our band if you're choosing to use it i'm going to start the music we'll get going i hope you're excited so happy everyone can join us today all right we're going to go ahead and get started I'm looking to see if you can see Tyson. He is here joining us today. He's always here joining us. Sometimes he likes to get in places so you can't see him. His toy's next to me. I'm aware of that fall trip hazard. I'm making sure it's not in my way. And he's over there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Nice and tall, core is tight, strong straight spine. <sighs> Relax those shoulders. Just starting with that march. Again, just warming up the body. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Legs are marching, arms go up and around. Exhale. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale. Heel digs go to the front, alternate. Right and left, exhale, inhale. Slight bend in those knees, keep the abdominals pulled in. Exhale, inhale. Four more, four, three, two, one more each side, come back up to that march. Make sure you have space next to you, focusing on lateral side of our body. Let's warm that up with our toe taps out to our side. Press, press, exhale, inhale. Four more, four, three, two, one more each side, come back up to that march. So nice and lifted. Back of the body now, those toe taps go behind us. Back, back. Exhale, inhale. Little tricep kick back with the upper body. Breathe, exhale, inhale. Four, three, two, one more each side, back up nice and tall, hold on to that march. 
two more of those big deep inhales, arms go up and around. Inhale, arms around. Exhale. One more time, big deep inhale, arms up and around. Exhale. Body's nice and warmed up. We're gonna go ahead and start the timer and grab our bands. I'm gonna go through the movements. We're going through two exercises, two times through, short break where you'll be able to get water, and then we will go ahead and go on to our next set. So grab your band again if you're choosing to use it. Before I start the timer, we have 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of break, where if during that 15 seconds, love to see you marching, not just standing still. So our first movement we're going to do, let's go through our movements, then start our timer. We're gonna do heel digs with bicep curls forward, and then taking that same movement back. All right, and then our second thing, we're gonna sidestep with a lat pull down. You're using that resistance for the upper body, focusing on form. Remember, hit high intensity. We want that heart rate to go up. So we're trying to spike it, let it go down slightly, then bring it back up. But go at your intensity. It can be a lot for someone. Go at your speed, your intensity, what feels best for you. Stop and take breaks when needed. I'm gonna start that timer. You know what that means, we get to start. If you hear beeps, it's the timer. <laughs> so there's our start. We have 15 seconds till we start, so let's just march in place. Heel digs moving forward and back, adding that bicep curl. That's our first movement. <laughs> and here he comes, right? <laughs> there it is. Heel dig, curl, and then take that back. Have resistance on that band. Forward, dig those heels, curl the arms. Keep going. Stay nice and lifty. Keep those elbows glued into the side of the body. Whether or not you are using that band, you'll still get gravity resistance. Heel dig, curl. Exhaling and inhaling. All right, little march. Keeping that heart rate slightly up, but let it go down a little bit. Side steps, lat pull down. Next, all right. Let's go. Pull, step. Go at your pace, steps as wide as you feel comfortable. Keep that bend in the knees. Open that band up. Exhale, inhale. Keep going, breathe with it. Keep the abdominals pulled in tight, stay nice and lifted, relax those shoulders. Keep that march going. Yes, we're doing those two movements. One more time. Curls with our heel digs moving forward and back. If you're seated, remember just heel dig while you're sitting in that chair, same thing. Curl those arms, dig and curl. Take it back. Again, moving, watch for any fall trip hazards. <laughs> they seem to always be around me lately, don't they, last few weeks. <laughs> Exhaling and inhaling. Elbows are close to the side of the body. Feeling that heart rate go up, that's good, breathe. Feel dig and curl. Stay nice and proud through that upper body. Just keep that march going. Side steps, lat pull down. Let the heart rate go slightly down, we'll bring it back up once we hear that beep. And step step, open up that band. Same thing without the band, just get that movement for the upper body. Exhale, inhale. Breathing, relax the shoulders. Start to feel the upper body working. We wanna bring those shoulders up. Almost there, almost there, you get a slight break. and relax. Keep a march going. 
Great time to grab water if you need it. Next set, let me show you what we are doing. Double knee hamstring. So you're gonna go knee, knee, curl, curl. You're keeping resistance on that band the entire time. So it's right, left knee, right, left curl. Then everyone's favorite, our zigzag steps. We're opening up that band at a diagonal as we zigzag step. All right, that's your two movements. Same thing, get that heart rate up. Really, really work at your intensity for that 35 seconds. All right, are we ready? We're starting in 10. I'm starting the timer. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Right, left, right, left. All right, let's go. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Slightly opening that band, using that resistance. Core is pulled in tight, especially if you're lifting that knee up and lifting that foot behind you. Working on our balance. Breathe with it. Bend in the knees. Feeling that upper body, breathe into it. Zigzag step. I'll step back a little bit. We're going forward for four if you have the space, and then back for four, and we're opening. Focus on shoulders, upper back. Stay nice and proud. Zigzag. Open, open. Take it back. And front. Open, open. Shoulders again relaxed. We start to use them and we want them to creep up towards our ears. Release them down. Exhale and inhale. Feel that heart rate go up again. That's a good thing. Breathe with it. Working on our endurance, our lung capacity. All right, keep that march going. Let's do that set one more time. Knee, knee. Curl, curl. Breathe. Find footing, find breath in between our movements. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Go at your pace. I know we have a beat to our music, but this is our hit workout. Going nice and quick. Curl, curl. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Abdominals are pulled in. We're working on keeping that length in our spine. Good posture. Knee, knee, curl, curl. Just keep that march going if you can. Zigzag steps, opening those arms at a diagonal. Shoulders are relaxed, using those shoulders to open up. Zigzag. Take it back, exhaling and inhaling. <laughs> Exhale, inhale. Almost there, almost there. Breathe with it. We'll take a little break and go through our next two movements next. And keep that march going if you can. Grab some water. Using that band still, of course. But this time the band's gonna go behind us. So towards the upper back, but underneath the underarms. All right? So our two movements, first one I like to call screamers. So we're gonna put all of our weight on our left leg. We're gonna do a chest fly as we pull that right knee up, okay? Notice there's a bend in that knee that I'm using, that I'm standing on. So we want to keep that bend. We wanna feel that quadricep working, all right? Don't lock it out. Get low in that leg, pull right knee in, and do that chest fly. Then we're just gonna punch. We're gonna stay stationary with those feet. They're not moving, they're planted into the ground, and you're gonna punch those hands towards me, with or without the band, remember. And then other side, we'll pull that left knee in, 
All of our weight is on that right leg, and then punches. All right, that's our next set. Then we'll have a seat. You're almost done with the standing, good job. Let's get going while that heart rate stays up. Screamers with our fly. All of our weight is on that left foot. Bend in that knee, get low into that leg. All right, then you're gonna pull those arms in. As quick as you can, bringing that knee in. Focus on the chest, squeeze, squeeze. Again, you should feel that leg that's holding your weight. That left leg, from the quadricep to the gluteals to the calf. <sighs> Breathe. Nice and proud and open through the upper body. <sighs> all right, little march, then we're gonna plant those feet. You're gonna punch those hands out towards me, all right? <sighs> that heart rate up. Keep our march going. All right, as fast as you can, as fast as you can. Punch those hands out towards me. Keep the abdominals tight. Keep that bend in the knees. Don't lock them out and hyperextend them. Almost there, have fun with it, have fun with it. Press from the chest, feeling those shoulders working, feeling the upper back working too. The core is tight. And a little march. Other side, so you're gonna place all that weight on your right leg. I want you to feel that quadricep, the gluteal, the calf, and then our flies. All that weight, pull that left knee in. Stay low in that leg. Breathe a bit. Adding that chest fly with or without the band. Exhale, inhale. Almost there, almost there. All right, those punches one more time. <sighs> Breathe with it. Finding footing and breath in between even our hit movements. We're gonna plant those feet. You're gonna punch those hands out and go. Core is pulled in tight. There is rotation through the core. So that is working, your lower back. We're pressing that resistance, even if you don't have the band. Resistance, gravity through the air, that thick air. Pressing from the chest, shoulders are relaxed, upper back is engaged. <sighs> Breathing, keep the bend in the knees. Almost there, almost there. And time. Finding your seat now as I pause that. So I'm gonna pull my chair over, have a seat, grab some water if you haven't yet. <clears throat> All right. So nice, comfortable, sturdy chair is what you need. Let's grab some water together. And we'll go through our movements. So, again, still using the band if you're choosing. We're going to step on to our band for our first two movements. Chest is gonna go forward. I want heavy resistance on it, so bringing those hands down. Essentially, their back pulls, I like to call them piston rows. So you're going nice and quick, pulling from the upper back. Core tight, length stays in the spine. First movement, side steps, nice and quick the resistance of that band is your second thing. So piston rows, nice and quick. Side steps, nice and quick. All right, let's keep that heart rate up. Let's keep on going so we can get to that stretch. In 10 seconds, we start those piston rows. Core is tight, chest goes forward. Focus on your upper back. So keeping that length in the spine, nice and quick, right, left.
breathe with it. I want you to feel the upper back engage. Again, with or without the band, you'll still feel the body parts working when you really focus on utilizing them to do the movement. Breathe with it. Almost there. All right, side steps are next. I'm just gonna keep my feet moving a little bit. Those movements are gonna become bigger once that timer goes off. If you have that band, just be careful it doesn't snap up underneath the feet. That's always the biggest concern and worry, or that it breaks, you saw that last week. It happens with these things. Nice and lifted, focus, hips, gluteals, outer thighs. Pressing out, don't let the feet snap back together. Even though it's a hit workout, focus on form. When we forget about what we're using, that's where those injuries can easily come into play. We definitely don't want that. Pressing from the outer thigh hip gluteals, not the knee, not the foot. Just keep a little movement with the body. One more time through that set. Our piston rows are first. Those feet will plant. And then we'll get that upper body working. Stay proud through the chest. It goes forward, right, left. Nice and quick. Focus on your upper back. Squeeze, squeeze. Exhaling, inhaling. Should feel good to feel that heart rate go up a little bit. Getting that sweat going is a good thing. All right, side steps one more time. As big as it feels comfortable, especially if you have that band as wide as you're able to, really focus on those hips, those gluteals, those outer thighs, side to side. Not pressing from the outside of the knee joint, remember. Focus on what we're working, feeling the inner thighs groin as we allow that foot to come center slowly. It's not just snapping because of that band. Almost there, stay nice and lifted, sitting in that chair. Pause that timer, keep a march going while I go through our next two movements. We have two more sets, then we're getting our nice stretch in, okay? So stick with me, should feel good. Let's keep going. Next two movements, our X open. We've done this one before, we have not used the band with it though. So our chest is gonna go forward, we're gonna open out. Now I want you to try and keep the elbows up, focus on the triceps, the back of your arms. Open with the triceps. Press out, lower body, upper body's working, especially if you have that band underneath those feet. So our X open with our tricep opening out to the side. Then we're gonna sit back, heels go down, and come forward. We've done this movement before too. We haven't used the band with it though. Really focusing on core and upper back. All right, so that's our two movements. X open first with that tricep kick out. 10 seconds, all right. Don't mind the dog that's in front of me. <laughs> Trying not to hit him. <laughs> X open. So down and open. Keep the elbows high. Focus on the back of the arms, the triceps, to bring that resistance out. Exhale. Both of these movements we're doing in this set and the following, a lot of core. Lower back is working, that's part of the core. Those abdominals. Almost there. Breathe with it. A little march or side steps with those feet. <clears throat> Heels are gonna go down, we're sitting back. We're squeezing the upper back as the chest comes forward. Core, all right. So back. Squeeze, back, 
squeeze. Exhale. Use the abdominals as you sit forward. Pull from the upper back. Squeeze that resistance if you're using the band. Almost there, almost there. A little march. Make sure you're nice and lifted. More side steps, whichever you choose. Let's do that set one more time. X open, tricep kick out. Feeling my heart rate go up. X open, open up those arms. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the elbows nice and high. Open out. Again, kind of like our side steps, we're pressing from the outer thighs, the hips and the gluteals as we open out that resistance. Exhale, inhale. A little march or side steps. Find that form, find the core, pull in tight, relax the shoulders down. Focus core, upper back with our next movement. One more time. Sit back, squeeze, pull. The tighter you can pull those abdominals in, the more you will feel them as they pull and lead you to sit up tall. Squeezing your shoulder blades together on your upper back. Exhale, exhale. Almost there, almost there. And time, keep a march going if you can. Grab some water, pausing. Take this time to let the heart rate come a little bit more down before we spike it back up. One more time, one more set. All right, so our next two movements, you keep your march going as you're grabbing your water. Let me show you what we're doing. We are going to sit back in that chair Focus, focus on abdominals, obliques. So we're gonna sit up tall. We're gonna pull that band the right side back as we twist to our right. We sit back, abdominals lead us to sit tall. We get that engagement through our lower back, our spine and our obliques with our twist. Squeeze, squeeze. That's our first thing. Then focus shoulders as we single side tap to the side like a modified jumping jack. I don't want that hand going higher than shoulder level, leading from the top of the shoulder. All right, so that's our two. Let's do it. <laughs> Start in 10 seconds, we're ready. Stay strong, stay with me, all over strong, right? We've got this. So sitting back, focus on core and pulling that right side twist right, left side twist left. Focus on the abdominals to lead you to sit tall. Try not to pull from the hip flexors, making your quadriceps, those thigh muscles, do all the work and pull you up. Exhale, exhale. All right, get that little march going. Get that band in place. Single side step, that same foot that goes to the side. So right foot, right arm, left foot, left arm. Relax the shoulders, lead from the top of the shoulder out to the side, exhale. Stay nice and lifted. Again, a lot of core work. Has to keep us nice and tall. Shoulder leading the way. Breathe with it. Abdominals tight. And keep that march going. Yes, 
One more time through that set. We're gonna sit back in our chair. When we sit up this time, we'll start on our left side. So we'll twist to the left, we'll pull that left arm back. All right, let's do it. One more time, squeeze, twist, squeeze, twist. Engage those abdominals. Exhale, exhale. Even without the resistance band, if you're doing the workout without it, I know you're still feeling it. Exhale, exhale. Almost there, almost there. Let's even it out. Let's do that right side one more time. All right, one more time through this next movement. We're gonna start to our left. Left side step, left shoulder raise. All right, we've got it nice and lifted. Core is tight, left, right. Leap in the top of the shoulder. Lift, press, that outer thigh, hip, gluteals. You'll feel your quadriceps engaging. Yes, they're working. The calf muscles, entire body. Exhale, inhale. Almost there, almost there. And if you're holding that band, release it. Stretch those fingers out. I'm gonna stop this timer, grab some water. <laughs> one day you'll get one of these mugs too and you can enjoy it with me in the nice fancy mug. I'm changing our music. We're not done. We have to cool down and we have to stretch. So you stay seated. I'm changing the music. Whew. <clears throat> this out of the way. <sighs> now remember, hit training doesn't have to be for a long time. A lot of times for some reason in our brains, we say our workout has to be this long in order for it to be any good. With HIIT training, when we're getting that heart rate up and we're doing movements, compound movements, upper lower body, everything's being utilized. It only needs to be 20, 30 minutes max. And then those type of workouts, those HIIT training workouts, only a couple times a week. That's all that you need with those. Very, very good, like I said, lung capacity, working on heart rate, your cardiovascular endurance, etc. <sighs> okay, all that being said, we're nice and tall in our chair. Let's get a nice stretch after that good work we just did together. So nice and lifted in our chair. Let's twist and open to that right side. I want a nice, deep spinal twist, keeping length in the spine. Deep inhales and deep exhales. Let's go through center to the left, twist and open. Deep inhales, deep exhales. <clears throat> Let's bring our body back to center. Those hands can go next to you on the chair or interlace them behind the back. If you have the ability, walk them up the back of the chair really allowing that chest to open up. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades on your upper back, feeling the shoulders and chest, front body all releasing. Breathe with it, deep inhales. Deep exhales. I felt my, my heart rate go up. I'm still feeling it slowly come down. And then we'll walk those hands back down, bring them onto our lap, hollow out the belly, arch and stretch that spine. So getting that curve in your spine now, feel your shoulder blades open on your upper back. Breathe into each individual vertebrae down the spine into that lower back. And then we'll sit up nice and tall in that chair. Neutral spine, but core stays tight. Bring that right arm across the chest. Remember, we're not bringing it around the neck, bringing it across the chest. It's at a slight diagonal down. We pull it across with that left arm 
and wiggle those fingers, especially if you were holding on to that band. Stretch those fingers out, making those fists and extending or one at a time. <clears throat> Let's open and close those arms for three, two. Now bring that left arm across the chest. Again, it's not at the neck, down at a di di diagonal, excuse me, and bringing it across with that right arm. We squeeze those fingers, making that fist and extending them out. And then we'll open and close those arms again three times. So three, two, one. Just bring them on to your lap. We'll extend out through that right leg, putting the heel down, flexing your foot. So pulling those toes up, slight bend in that right knee. Hinge forward at the hips, feeling that stretch. Once you feel the stretch, then allow yourself to release into it, getting more of a curve in your spine as you get deeper into that stretch. And I want you to feel the stretch as you extend out first, then release down into it. Breathe into it. Deep inhales, exhales. We're releasing the body, we're releasing the mind now after that workout. Let's roll it up nice and slow, sitting tall. That right foot comes up, circle the foot around. So from the ankle joint, we're getting that mobility, that stretch, and reverse other way. Now you have options if you have it available to you. That right ankle comes up and over that left thigh. If that is not available to you, you cross at the ankles. Keeping length in the spine, the chest goes forward. Either one, I want you to feel that stretch in your hip, gluteal, and lower back right side. <sighs> Breathe with it. <sighs> Keeping the hands, try not to press on that knee joint. A lot of times we wanna press on our joints to get deeper in stretches and stretch the body. Never on the joints. We'll sit up nice and tall. We're all gonna cross at our ankles. So right foot in front of left, we're nice and lifted. Let's twist and open to that right side. A nice deep spinal twist, deeper in those hips and through center to the left. Come back to center, chest goes forward, hands outside of those feet. Again, when we're crossed at the ankles, we get a deeper stretch in our hips and lower back. Roll it up, nice and slow, sitting tall, uncross the feet, lengthen out through the left. That left heel is down, we're pulling those toes up, flexing that foot, keeping that slight bend in the knee. Hinge forward at the hips, feel that stretch, that length is coming out. Now allow the chest to release down into it. Again, we're reaching towards the toes, never putting our hands directly on those knee joints and pressing down. Let's roll it up nice and slow, sitting tall. That left foot comes up, circling from the ankle joint, circling that foot around, and reverse the other way. Now those options, whichever feels best on this side, bringing that left ankle up and over and releasing forward or crossing at your ankles, keeping length in your spine, chest goes forward. Breathe into your stretch. One side is usually tighter than the other. I know I always tell you this is my tight side, so I have to really focus and breathe. I, everything I want to tense it up. <sighs> Releasing the hip, the gluteals, the lower back on your left side. <sighs> And we'll sit up nice and tall. We'll all cross the left in front of the right. We're crossed at our ankles. We're nice and lifted. Let's twist and open to our left side. Deep inhales, exhales. And through center to the right, twist and open. Come back to center, chest releases forward, hands outside of those feet. Deepen that stretch in our hips and lower back. Even if you've had hip replacement, this is a nice stretch to do after you have healed properly, just not staying in this position for a length of time. Roll up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, uncrossing the feet, open them a little more than shoulder distance apart. Now hands release towards the floor again, inside of those feet, 
a nice deep stretch. You should feel those inner thighs, outer thighs, hips, gluteals, and back releasing. This one feels very good. Roll it up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Once you're sitting tall, just heel toe those feet back to center. The arms are down by your side, you're nice and lifted. If you don't have that available, if you're in a chair, wheelchair, or chair that has arms, remember they can stay on the lap, same thing. We're just gonna lift those shoulders up. So those shoulder shrugs, inhale, exhale. Squeeze up, release them down. Feel the shoulder blades lift, release. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one. Now circle those shoulders to the front. Inhale, exhale. Slow and controlled movements. Feeling the opening of the upper back. Feeling the movement of your shoulders. Three more. Inhale, exhale. Two. Last one. And other direction. Bringing those circles to the back. Releasing your shoulder blades down the spine. Stay nice and tall. Inhale, exhale. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one, release those shoulder blades down the spine. Now keep them there, hands go onto your lap. Turn your head, look over the right shoulder. And other side, looking over the left. Head comes back center, right ear releases down towards the right shoulder, body's nice and tall, it's not leaning to the side. We're in the center of that chair and that shoulder is relaxed. It's not coming up towards the ear. We're gonna roll our chin through chest level. Let's get the left ear over to the left shoulder again, nice and tall. Stabilize center of that chair. We'll roll the chin back down to chest level, keeping it there and keeping the length in the spine, not leaning forward, working on feeling that stretch and getting range of motion in the back of the neck and the upper back. Now bring your gaze up towards the sky, gently releasing the head back, no added force or pressure, not leaning back. Again, working on range of motion and stretching in the front of the neck and upper chest. It gets very tight if we start to hunch forward. Open up, stretch it out. We'll bring our head back to center. Arms are by our side or on our lap. Our three deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, bring that length up and exhale. Release it out. Two more times, big deep inhale, length up overhead and exhale. One more, big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale, release it all out, because we did an amazing job. So, so proud of all of you for joining me today. So we're gonna take some time to go through everything. Of course, I have reminders, my normal stuff. Grab some water, stick with me if you can. Like I said, these HIIT workouts, we can get through them quick, but our heart rate is still coming down. So take it easy, drink plenty of water throughout your day, no matter what time it is. All right, so I'll go through this first, then we'll look at um, who chimed in. Lots of people nice and early before we even started. So a little progress each day, that's what adds up. And I say it time and time again, I know, but even if you could only watch today and do one movement out of the nine or so, whatever we did, that's fine, that's something. Then we try for a little bit more next time. Or maybe you could only do 20 seconds of the 35. That's fine. That's progress. Compare it to yesterday. Don't compare it to 20 years ago. We are always looking, looking, looking in the past or trying to look too far into the future. Where we are right now, trying to make progress each individual day and moment. All right, so there's your motto for the week. A little progress each day. Remember, it all adds up. Let's go through everything. So Sue chimed in early. She's not able to join us today, but she's gonna do the workout hopefully tomorrow. So thank you, Sue. Uh, Sandra, always looking forward to your live workouts. That's Sandy from New York. Yes, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it, Sandy. Mary from Austria. She says, hope you're all safe and well. Um, here it's approaching 5 p.m. and a sunny and balmy 26 degrees Celsius. Looking forward to our class together. Mary, thank you for your continued support and your donation. Thank you so much, means a lot. Um, Leslie Hodgins, 
Good morning from Ottawa, Ontario. Can't wait to get started. I really need a stress reliever today. If anything, that workout would be the one. We got a good stress relief in. I think <laughs> I did. Any workout I think is a good stress relief. Donna, um, first chance, yes. Donna King, first chance I've had to join you live from Haverton, Pennsylvania. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so fun, it feels like a community. So I hope you see where everyone's from. It's just an amazing thing that we get to do this together live, like a real class. Um, Kay Ashworth, hi from Birmingham, Alabama. Going to do my best today, always do. Old Arthur came in with the rain today, but at least it's, a lo it's lots cooler. And that's nice, I look forward to that. You did good, like I said, <laughs> no matter what. Um, you did it, so good job to you, Kay, thank you. Alicia says, hi everyone, from sunny Windsor, Ottawa, uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. This is what happens when I don't wear my contacts. Um, Autumn is here, may you all have a wonderful workout. I hope you enjoyed it, Alicia. Lynn Carmichael, hello everyone, looking forward to our workout. It's noon and a gorgeous sunny 66 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius, on Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. Ooh. Thank you, Meredith, as always. Thank you, Lynn, I hope you enjoyed it. Gwendolyn, Nani here in Phoenix. I'm so happy you were able to join today and got Betty for her walk early, hopefully. <laughs> so thank you, um, miss you. Deb, hello from Houston, Texas. Still cloudy, but no rain. Had almost 11 inches of rain. We caught up on our rain now. Well, yes, definitely. Hope you enjoyed it, Deb. Thank you again for all your comments and continued support. Leanne O'Brien, hello everyone from Ringgold, Georgia. I hope you liked it, Leanne. Jill, good, you joined us. Um, 71 degrees in Madrid, so thank you, Jill, for joining. Uh, Nisa says hi and good morning from New Orleans. I'm back after knee injury. You have to tell me more about this. I like to hear about injuries. Wonderful job. Um, I'd like to know what you did and knowing that these workouts are really gonna help to um, prevent that hopefully from happening again. Alicia, that's great, you said. I would love to support, thank you, it's wonderful. See this community? Um, Larry and Daryl from Brooklyn, so happy you joined. Muriel from Hawaii was able to join us bright and early. Liz Hoffman from Ottawa, Ontario. I tell everyone about your wonderful programs. Thank you, Liz, that means so much. Um, Barbara, hi from Ohio. Enjoy your workout and newsletter, wonderful. Diane, this workout was tough but good. Thank you for the great workout, Diane from Denver. Casey gave some nice heart, so thank you, Casey. Hi, Meredith, sorry I missed your class today. Love your workout class. Thank you, and I hope you can watch it later and do it. Sandra, loved it, but very challenging. Yes, I did it all. Sandy, good job, see? <laughs> it was tough, but we did it. Um, Layla, very efficient. Thank you, Meredith, Washington, D.C. Rosita, um, partly cloudy and 70 degrees here in upstate New York. This was quite a workout. Thank you. See, this is good. I like to hear it because sometimes I wonder if it's just me. <laughs> Jeannie, my mom, great workout. Greetings to all from Simpsonville, South Carolina. Thank you, Mom. Happy you liked it. Rosita, also, I have been hoping for Meredith merch. Well, wonderful. It's coming. <laughs> coming soon on our website. Um, Bronx girl, she's here in Phoenix. Woo, enjoyed your fantastic workout. So nice to be able to work out inside despite our continuing three digit temperature temperatures here in Phoenix. I know. I love how everyone else is getting cooler, but we just seem to be stuck in the hundreds. Um, it'll cool off eventually. JW Dance Divine, great workout. Thanks from Surprise, Arizona. So thank you everyone so, so much for chiming in. I know it takes a while to go through, so thank you if you do stay and continue watching. Um, it just means so much to have all that support and everyone chiming in and it's, yes, it, it, like I say, there are no words of the gratitude that we have for everyone who continues to support us and be there um, for these live workouts. So like we said, merchandise is coming. So www.seniorfitnesswithmeredith.com where we have all of our workouts, podcasts, blogs, etc. we will have merchandise. So we've got some shirts that might be coming soon. We have my favorite, nice mugs, all over strong on one side with our Senior Fitness with Meredith on the other. Um, there'll be lots of things that you can 
look at, you can buy. So be on the lookout for that. Just some fun things to really show the support out there to everyone, right? And again, last week of Falls Prevention Awareness Month. I can't believe it, week four. So real quick, it's hard to read, I know, but I'll go through everything. I've had something every week you're supposed to do, your things to do. <laughs> First week, checking your medications, your vision, and your hearing, okay? Hopefully you've done all that or you've made those appointments. All can be part of fall risk, so remember that. Then, keeping your home safe. The fall and trip hazards, those area rugs and bath mats that look so pretty but we can trip over. Is your lighting sufficient? Do you have enough when you get up in the middle of the night, etc.? Grab bars are very, very important inside of the bathroom. All right, talking to family, friends, and your physician. Talk to them about falls that you've had, being afraid of falls. Don't stay back and think that they're gonna look at you differently, that you can't be independent because you have fears about falling. They won't, it's good to talk about it. If you've had a fall, let everyone know, especially your doctor, because maybe they will say, let's check out your medications, your vision, your hearing. What did you fall on? What were the circumstances? All right, so, <laughs> poor Tyson's having a dream. So, doing that, talking to family, friends, and physicians, and this week's is, exercise staying all over strong really focusing on strengthening the core the lower body the upper body as well because if we do need to use those grab bars to pull up yes we have to have a stable core and nice strong lower body but that upper body has to be strong too so all over strong right so remembering all of that so those are your tips for the month Talk, 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 get it out there. Talk to me, talk to the community, talk to everyone. Especially right now when we are indoors more. Um, stay positive, stay happy, stay with the community. Don't go inward. And if you've had a fall or anything, let everyone know, all right? So all of that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I know it was tough, but it was wonderful, right? We got through it together as we always do. Thank you so much for the continued support. Please go on, check out the newsletter, sign up and subscribe. Keep looking for merchandise. Send me emails and comments. I love to talk about things going on in your life and in mine. So I'll see you next week and enjoy the wonderful week doing workouts throughout. Bye-bye. Get it,